This video was made possible by Surfshark. Stay tuned to find out how you can get 84% off your subscription and 4 extra months for free. Motor racing in Japan is pretty much about as awesome as you would imagine. It is fiercely competitive, with a whole bunch of kids raring to make themselves known as a genuine talent on the world stage. And some of these drivers do end up making it to the top flight of motorsport. Since 1975, a total of 20 Japanese racing drivers have taken part in a Grand Prix weekend, with the last being Komui Kobayashi in 2014. However, the six year wait will come to an end, as Yuki Tsunoda has just been announced to drive for Alpha Tauri in 2021, making his Grand Prix debut after rocketing up the junior ranks with some awesome performances. He is undeniably a popular character in the paddock and with the fans, but some unbeknownst to this will probably be wondering what all this hype is about. Well, I'll run you through this guy's history and explain why Yuki Tsunoda is Japan's newest Formula 1 driver. As with pretty much every driver profile video that I do, we'll be having a look at Tsunoda's junior racing career to gauge exactly where he is at. Although, with Tsunoda, there isn't really much to go over, given his meteoric rise from the junior ranks to Formula 1. After competing in karts successfully in his youth, Tsunoda graduated from Honda Suzuka Circuit Racing School and subsequently became a member of the Honda Formula Dream Project in 2016. In the same year, Tsunoda made his competition car debut with Tsutakina Racing at the Suzuka round of the Japanese F4 Championship. Unlike the team's previous drivers, who could only muster results hovering in the lower half of the field, Tsunoda achieved a podium in his first ever race, beating out some extraordinary talent, such as Rotomo Miyata, Toshiki Oyu, and the man with the coolest name in all of motorsport, Turbo Asahi. It's even more hilarious when you check this guy's Insta and you see who he raced for. With this, Tsunoda looked to the 2017 season with some amount of anticipation. Now a part of the Honda Formula Dream Project team in the Japanese F4 series, Tsunoda was now in prime position to challenge for the title. However, with the likes of Oyu, Ukyo Sasahara, and Takuya Otaki as his teammates, Tsunoda was certainly swimming in amongst the sharks here. And speaking of sharks, this video was made possible by Surfshark. Beautiful segue, eh? In the sea of online content, there's a lot of websites and little things that take your info without you even knowing it. But you can swim under that radar with Surfshark VPN, or Virtual Private Network. You could stop websites from tracking your info, and selling targeted ads to you. Honestly, like, there's nothing more creepy than for you to be talking about something, and for that thing to then pop up in your ads, you know what I mean? Plus, with Surfshark's Hacklock ID protection, you'll get an alert when some manus is trying to break into your email. But something that I really like about Surfshark is that you can see content that's not available in your area. For example, when I went over to Japan last year, to and fro, I had to make a stop over in China. And as anyone who's been to China can attest to, a lot of the social media outlets there are blocked. Hell, YouTube is blocked there. If only I'd known about these cats before then. Because now, you could just log into Surfshark and get access to the sites that normally wouldn't be available to you. Just be ethical with what you search for, comprende? So, if you want both protection and freedom online, click the link in the description and use this code. Yeah, this one. This one. See see this one here? Because it not only gives you a whopping 84% off the regular price, but 4 months of free service. They also offer a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out for yourself. So I say go give it a try, and thanks once again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now. Back to Yuki. Now with Oyu and Sasahara already being proven quantities not just in racing, but in Formula 4, Tsunoda would have his work cut out for him. He would also be going up against previous year's champion, Rotomo Miyata. Now, if all these names don't mean anything to you, go check out Super Formula Racing on the race. It'll lend some perspective as to how bloody competitive the field is. Yet, despite everything, Tsunoda would achieve third overall in the standings, just losing out to Sasahara, but beating out teammates Oyu and Otaki. He took three wins that year at Okayama, Fuji, and Suzuka. And as a bonus to all of this, he would win the Japan Formula 4 East series, although he still wanted that national title. Tsunoda remained in the National F4 series for 2018, and would duly win the title thanks to a dominant opening portion of the year. These performances impressed the hierarchy at Honda. And this was crucial, because for the longest time, Honda was searching for Japan's next Formula 1 driver, whether it would be with Takuya Izawa or Nobuharu Matsushita. And with Honda's newfound links to Red Bull Racing, the connection was made with Tsunoda being drafted into the Red Bull Junior team for 2019. With this, Tsunoda would make his European debut driving in both the Euro Formula Open series with Motorpark and FIA Formula 3 series with Genza. This was a slight leap from Formula 4. Nonetheless, Tsunoda had a good run in the FIA F3 series, 
points, taking three podiums, including a race win at Monza, and would take ninth in the championship and was the top finishing Genza driver that year. Now, ninth may not sound great in a spec series, but I'll let you in on a little secret. <clears throat> Them spec series? ain't really as equal as you may think. But whatever the case, his performances proved to be pleasing for the Red Bull Junior Program boss Helmut Marko and the hierarchy at Honda. It appeared that Red Bull had a genuine talent on their hands, although there was a slight problem with that. You see, around the same time, Red Bull had some other notable candidates in their Red Bull Junior team, chief among which were Yuri Vips, Dennis Hauger, and Liam Lawson. Now, the comparison between Tsunoda and Lawson based on the FIA F3 series would lead you to believe that Tsunoda was the better driver. But not so fast on that one, because there were two instances where both Lawson and Tsunoda would be in the same team. And the FIA F3 series was not one of them. The first instance in which they were was in the aforementioned Euro Formula series. Both Tsunoda and Lawson would drive for Motor Park for most of the championship. And while Tsunoda would win a race at Hockenheim and would finish fourth overall, Lawson finished second overall and would win four races that season. What's more, at the beginning of the 2020 season, both Tsunoda and Lawson would compete in the Toyota Racing Series in New Zealand. Zealand, driving for M2 competition. And much like in Euro Formula, Tsunoda would finish fourth overall with one win to his name, while Lawson would finish second with five wins that season. It does sound a bit like I'm nitpicking here, but the reason I bring this up at this stage is that it was starting to draw questions as to whether Yuki was really Red Bull's best option. And these results were starting to look about as awkward as a pork chop in a synagogue. But whatever the case, Tsunoda would be drafted into the Carl and F2 team for the 2020 season, driving alongside fellow Red Bull Jr., Jihan Darivala, Marco also set Tsunoda an ultimatum of fourth place in the standings for that year. This was because fourth or better in the standings would allow him to qualify for an FIA super license, thereby allowing him to graduate to Formula 1. Now, I'll be honest, before the season kicked off, I didn't give Tsunoda a scrap of hope. The competition this year was ultra strong, and Carlin were not looked at as one of the better F2 teams. Look, just uh, hindsight is 2020, people, okay? The first round of the championship didn't suggest that Yuki would be anywhere near the top 10, with a particularly embarrassing incident where he slapped teammate Darivala in the first race. But then in the second round, Tsunoda would stick it on the pole and very nearly won the race. And while Carlin sort of struggled in the first few rounds, they eventually gathered momentum. He was on course for his third podium of the year at Silverstone before Robert Schwartzman and Mick Schumacher decided to play havoc with each other's no claims bonus. Tsunoda would slip past to take a his first win in Formula 2. He would keep up these good performances going through to the next round in Catalonia and once again win at Spa Francorchamps where he took the pole and won the feature race ahead of somewhat good driver and professional asshole Nikita Mazepin. However, the weekend wasn't totally squeaky clean after an incident in the sprint race at Lacom where he hit Callum Eilat harder than a mixed drink from Bill Cosby. But the crucial thing in all of this is that heading into the Monza round, Tsunoda nestled himself into third in the driver standings. However, with mechanical issues in Monza and a gypsy curse at Mugello, this soon came under threat. But when Sochi came around, Tsunoda would once again take the pole and would finish on the podium in the feature race. And it was becoming more evident by the season's end that the Carlins were proving to be one of the quicker teams. The final round at the Bahrain Not Oval proved to be a dominant weekend for Tsunoda, with him taking pole position, the feature race win, and second in the final sprint race for the year. This confirmed him as third place in the driver's standings, just 15 points behind eventual champion Mick Schumacher, an ultra-impressive rookie F2 season. And more crucially, he had qualified for an FIA super license, freeing him up to race in Formula 1. But are these the ingredients of a future F1 star? Well, really, despite the comparison drawn to Lawson earlier, Tsunoda has already proven himself to be a speedy driver regardless, and unlike some drivers who fall faster than Superman on laundry day when the pressure gets high, Tsunoda seems to relish those moments. His first taste of F1 machinery came in November 2020, when he partook in a test at Imola in a 2018 spec Toro Rosso car. He would also drive in the end of season rookie test at Abu Dhabi, which was really strange, considering he was an actual rookie. But despite Honda pulling out of Formula 1 again, Tsunoda's status at Red Bull remained unchanged. His performances in F2 was enough for Helmut Marko to see that he was a damn good driver, and that final round in Bahrain pretty much sealed the deal for him. Finally, on December 16th, Tsunoda was announced to replace Daniel Kvyat at AlphaTauri for the 2021 season. The only concerns that I have at this point is with regards to Red Bull's track record with its junior drivers, and with a Japanese driver's track record in Formula 1. Because while there is undeniably some fantastic talent that comes from that country, 
country. Not much success has come with it in Formula 1. To this day, there have only been three occasions where a Japanese driver took a podium. Aguri Suzuki at the 1990 Japanese Grand Prix, Takuma Sato at the 2004 United States Grand Prix, and Komui Kobayashi at the 2012 Japanese Grand Prix. And to this day, no Japanese driver has ever won a Grand Prix. And while Tsunoda is a very talented driver, the Red Bull Junior program has gained notoriety for chewing up and spitting out drivers. A classic example is the man he just replaced. Kvyat. Hopefully Marco is a tad more patient than he has been with others as of late. Nonetheless, with the performances that Tsunoda has put in, and with Alpha Tauri proving to be a decent package as of late, maybe Tsunoda can break the trend and become Japan's first ever Grand Prix winner. For f sake, I pray this does not age poorly. So how do you think Tsunoda will do? Drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you're awesome, and always remember, keep it respectful, be wholesome, don't be a manus, and as always, I'll see you all later. Turn up to 99